Hello, hello, hello. Howdy. Welcome, everyone. Uh, the console updated <laughs> in between last time and this time, so we got to start the game up real quick. But that just gives us a moment to say hi. How is everyone tonight? I don't actually know if anyone's here yet. Noodle's doing whatever Noodle does. Nate's probably dashing. So it might just be us. We might be all alone. All by... No. <laughs> hey, speak of the devil. <laughs> hey, Noodle. How you doing, love? Welcome. Noodle's what? I said probably doing whatever Noodle does. That's what I said. About the other day. You know, I ain't never shed a tear in front of no one, not even my mother, and you won't soon catch me doing the like again. So if it please your lordship, we can both forget about the whole damn thing. The said I chose to follow all them years ago is gone, and there ain't no dragging him back from the depths of whatever hell he's talked his way into. But his legacy that lives on, and you, and everyone else here at the hideaway, sure as the sky is blue. At least, I think it's still blue. As long as it is, I'll be right here where you can count on me. Ah, Watching reels? How fun. I... <laughs> You never announce in the Discord anymore, so maybe more will show up if you did that. Man, <laughs> it's a hobby. I don't know, man. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not doing it to be, you know, famous. I should, though. Honestly, <laughs> I should. But uh, memory. Memory's broken. I trust you and your party gain the Dominion without further event. Should your travels ever bring you back to the markets but you need of additional assistance, you will find the Crimson Caravans more than happy to oblige. Might offer a discount on our usual rates. How cool. You're going to make your food now? What you going to make, Noodle? Hey, Chocobo. Reports from our brothers and sisters of field are all the same. These cursed skies cast not only a pall over the land but over the hearts of our people. Hearts already heavy from the fall of the Dominion and the destruction of Storm's final Mother Crystal. For now, the realm endures, but with each new flood do her few remaining children descend further into madness. The situation is, as ever, dire. Fresh wings shall find you on the new moon's turning. Until then, our watch continues. May the crystal's curses be broken. Word out of Twinside is that there's little left of the capital after the Mad Prince's royal tantrum. But what of you and yours? Did you manage an escape before the city went tits up? I trust you did, but a Stolas might be good to set El's mind at ease. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff in here we've never read. <laughs> uh, duh. I'm waiting for Layton to answer me. What about cheese ravioli with garlic toast? Oh yeah, you did tell me that earlier. She's having cantaloupe. Oh, man. <laughs> I love cantaloupe. She does not. No, she hates cantaloupe. <laughs> I don't understand why. Honestly, I think it's delicious. But she does not care for the cantaloupe at all. Sit the second. To... Okay, so people have been writing us letters, like, all this time. And we just haven't read a single one of them until now. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> I narrowed down like three. You could share screenshots on like Discord. Maybe people on Discord would help you pick. I'm sure Rue has opinions. Clive. What do you got? Anything new? You down. Uh, apparently not. Dark Sash? Is that new? No. None of this stuff looks new. No. Okay, that's new, I think. And last elixir. This is the easiest elixir to procure? No, but it is the last one you'll ever need. Pawn KO automatically restores all HP, fills limit gauge, and increases attack by by 10% and defense by 30% for 60 seconds. That does sound really nice, but I know I'm just going to end up dying at a point where I don't want to use it. <laughs> Since it's automatically applied, it's just no. going to be used. So I don't think I'm going to buy it. There are more books that go with the Go to Fuck to Sleep? No, like in the same series? With your gear, or... If so, no, I did not know. Bright burn. It's not much better than what we have, but it is better. So, fuck it. Make that. It and it's special. It should look nice. Nothing else new or fancy, right? Mm -hmm. That's new. You need an Oracalum. Oracalcum. Two sons did the Devourer beget, and like their father would, they look forever forward to the past. How do we get that? Oh, wait. We need Marble Flower, Slain Loincloth. Okay, we need all kinds of stuff. 
So those must be hunt things. So we need to check the hunt board. That makes sense. You didn't post in Discord, by the way? Yeah, Noodle already yelled at me. <laughs> I don't know if that's why you're saying it or if you're just reminding me as well. Yeah. <laughs> what are the other ones, Noodle? The other books. I told Nan we flew back on the Phoenix, but she walloped me for telling fibs. Can you tell her it was the truth, Clive? Nope. I'm just gonna let her keep beating me up, dude. It is it's not. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It is not what? Oh, it is not the reason? Maybe that's what you were saying? I don't believe you, though. I have quite the find for you today. Are the Mother Crystals lost Mother Crystals? Gil? Really? I don't I don't think I need to learn about Gil. When Sidolphus Telamon put his plans to destroy the Mother Crystals in motion, five of their number towered over the twins, three less than Ultima set in place eons past. Oh. So there have been Mother Crystals lost before. The Mother Crystals of Zemek? Guess was the first to fall, followed by Drake's Horn in Southern Ash and Drake's Eye in the Northern Territories. Now nothing remains of them save for the scars left behind by their passing. Five of their number towered over the twins, three less than Ultima set in place eons past. Yeah. No shit. Okay. So wait. So there was eight? So I'm assuming once upon a time there was one for each of the things. have thingies? a question for me. I should be happy to answer it. <laughs> so, George Carlin is our librarian. That would be hilarious. If, <laughs> if only he was still around. You have to fucking eat, and fuck now there are two of you. <laughs> That's great. If uh, my brother, if Optijack ever has more children, we'll have to get him the other two to go with the first one. I mean, we could buy him one of them. He has two kids. We could buy one of them to go for, with the second child. That'd make sense. I, I just said that. Chill. But they're not, like, newborn at this point. The second child. So we still have that one that we don't know anything about. Uh, Domekia, Rosaria, and another question mark one. So that one's somewhere in Um, That one's somewhere in Rosaria. Then we have Quiet Sands, Rosaria, and Von v Vomer, Dalmechia. We'll do Rosaria, because while we're running around, maybe we'll see this other one. The Megath Brothers. Quiet Sands, Rosaria. Okay. Gonna do that now, otherwise I'll forget. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back <laughs> You can say you just find out, yeah. It's everything we've received and everything uh. promised. High clerk. Oh, is that the same thing, but for high potions? Come maybe? again. I may have more for you. A uh, gear. Do, 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 do. Cleric's medallion. High cleric's medallion. Yeah. Healing potency of high potions by 25%. Do. Mm, I don't think I'm going to equip it, man. I think I'd rather just have the 30 defense. For now, at least. We'll see. Our opinion may end up changing on that, but... Okay, so we're going to... We're going nowhere at the moment. My bad. All right. Hi, Otto. I guess we got to talk to you first before we can go anywhere. The realm. The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms at Mother Crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav, he's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. 
I'll leave the scheming to those more suited to the task. God damn it. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. I literally just talked to Tomes. Our Pockerdies and I just got done speaking ask. moments ago. I suppose not. He couldn't just tell me whatever the shit he needs to tell me then. And Vivian's not exactly my favorite person. But we're still locked here, so <laughs> I guess there's nothing else to do. Hi, Vivian. How, How are you? Every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe. I got Not a gift. What can I say? For the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Are Tempting bog crabs be, blue? Some king will not help us find a solution to this mess. <laughs> you believe there's one to I don't found. know what a bog crab is. I apologize. I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. I presume you're going to tell us then whether we want to hear it or not, so just get it over with, lady. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Balisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those oh, that have the so everything mines, mined from it stops working too, huh? A glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. That makes it sense, but it didn't occur to me before. The folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. And yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it. Spawning a Kashik in droves. Oh, good. Amidst the hordes of <laughs> mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. I mean, to be fair, that you could liken this to like if somebody went around destroying every source of oil in the world. Like, you know, flourish, I don't know if castle of sand is really the right the way to put it. You know, it's a pretty big change from the status quo Without here. the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Very well. Okay, so... We got to take on Odin at some point. I mean, <laughs> that seemed obvious. But thanks for that, Vivian. Real helpful you were. Hopefully Tomes has something a little more interesting to actually say. Although, her telling us about the, the floods of ether, that's new info. And honestly, a little surprising. Like, how is the land still sick from lack of ether, but also overflowing with it, drowning in it at the same time? Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? It does kind of look like George Car Carlin now that you say that, man. Astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the fallen might be better placed to answer than I. 
And on the sixth day did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters. But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, I mean... He has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <laughs> oh, yeah, cinnamon roll. And we had God of dinner rolls. Could be said, now would he? <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, Everything, uh, I'm not surprised, all sadly. Remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope. I mean, <laughs> certainly not. <laughs> Sure. There's nothing to yeah. forgive. Yeah. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others have to say. Okay. I mean, that wasn't any new info for, like, us, really. Um, other than the fact that alt there may be writings of Ultima. But I already kind of assumed there were. But it's new info for Clive, because obviously he didn't see the cutscene of Ultima being like, woe is me, fuck this land, uh, drown now, and, uh, I don't, I can't rhyme, I don't know, <laughs> fucking know. <hell. laughs> Otto, my guy, <laughs> change the subject, please. How are you? And Jill, hello. Clive, we have a problem. Only one. Who would this be? <laughs> it would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cache at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dallamil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, it fucking pours. Because this is unexpected, man. I didn't expect the world to just kind of change on us like that. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they get here in time to make any real difference. Which means it's nice to have things change up a little bit, I suppose. Again. Jill and I let them know we're on our way. I mean, sooner or later, Bahamut, our guy, will uh, wake up and Fancy presumably this, help us out. Quick look. Oh, we have a main quest in each area now. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding me about her. I shall. Seen enough? Okay, so we just need to go everywhere. Big surprise. What was the... I should just take a screenshot. That's what I really should do. View the hunt board. It is... How do you take a screenshot? can tell I'd like never take screenshots yeah that <laughs> never opened this menu before okay screenshot and quiet sands that's what it is screenshot and then Sam Breck and Rosaria but we have no other info so other than I think the one in Rosaria says something about being outside of town but the girls here can have Otto and Gav, and Gareth, and Cole, and all the rest. My heart beats for another. Who's it beating for this oh, time? If only Lady Talia would let me into oh. the <laughs> Good old Dion. The girls here can have Otto and Gav. I'm not surprised, honestly. Is he in here? I can hardly lift my arms. The curse, it's... Oh, or she could be talking about Joshua, I suppose. I kind of forgot the about him. suffered by both your brother and the prince were bad enough. But that wound above Joshua's heart is unlike anything I've ever seen. Were he not a dominant, I fear he would have succumbed to it long ago. You have to let me know how the uh, garlic bread is, love. I'm excited for it myself, but... I won't be eating any until tomorrow, probably. Gonna have meatballs. Okay. 
Nothing here. Rosaria, then. We'll deal with Martha's problem and find the Quiet Sands and maybe that mysterious hunt that we know nothing of. Yeah, just gotta go. Oh, good, good. It's, it's looking nice around here. Love to see it. Right, quiet sands. Is it a bigger area or a smaller area? Lost plume. Bomb arches. Bullet bridge. Hey, quiet sands. Okay, so somewhere around here. And then... I'm guessing this creature, right? Because this creature is a bigger creature, I'm assuming. Because it's, you know, like the last one. And it's all question marks. So I'm assuming it's going to be one of these areas. You know, like this. The first one I zoomed in at. That one there. Maybe this here. Um, that looks like it, really. So I think we'll check those areas. For the mystery one. That's my best guess. Because I'm, I'm just assuming we're going to need like a larger area, right? Oh, I guess there's this one down here too. Crooked Nash's Pier. It's not as big, but maybe. Do we help her first? Uh, I mean, I guess she might send us like running around. So we should at least start the mission for Martha first. It's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you've been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. So are the rains the themselves, like, now. laced with ether? And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Wouldn't that, like, help cure the lands, though, if that's really what's wrong with them, the lack of ether? Do you think there were as many as Martha says? You know, almost looked bright and sunny out here. There for a moment. A short moment, but a moment nonetheless. Okay, if we're heading this way, is there a place over here? This one. Because that's down there. Oh, and there's this one here, too. I guess this one's closer. So we'll check that place first. They've abandoned us, Steve. For a moment, I thought the rope was blocked off, and I was like, what the hell, man? <laughs> really got to make things harder? Like, I assumed the creatures and shit were going to be harder, but I didn't think there were going to be blockades stopping me from moving. But no, okay, we're fine. We can get around. Clive, wounded. Ooh. We deal with the Akashic first. All kinds of Akashic uh, Akashic creatures. More of them. Let's go. Ooh, recluses. How fancy. Yeah, I still don't expect them to put up much of a fight, though, to be honest. More on the ground. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> I missed all of them. That was, that was fantastic. Oh 
Okay, so I mean, it might be stronger than the enemies that are usually in the area, but they're still pretty easy to deal with. These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wade's men? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? Presumably so here to he help. Left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked oh, after. Oh, we'll maybe. Maybe uh, the ether's like flooding out of the fallen remnants, like the the temple-like fallen places that we visited once or twice. Oh, I didn't know we were going to be teleported back here. Lame. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. My bad, when dude. did his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned. And we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift. But they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels. And they got wounded with them. They're not going to make it. Damn it all. Don't we'll worry. Them, we'll take care of it. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. Bro, we've single-handedly taken down multiple nations. Pretty sure we can handle a couple of Akashic. It'll be all right. Yes, they're probably dead. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. It's a good thing you can teleport, Joe. You'd get left behind a lot. Ah, Wade, hello. Sire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed Bruh. to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Ooh, glowy turtle. We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Russ, it's fun. Always. We got this. <laughs> we have taken team. down gods. I'm pretty sure a couple creatures we can deal with. Even if they are big old turtles. That ruined my ability early. That was rude. Ow. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Okay, so just using that against him in general is just pointless, it seems. Which, fair enough. Boo, it's Rue! Howdy, dude! 
Aw, you bastard. Okay, and that attack does fuck all against him. Good to know. Yeah, actually, most of the abilities seem kind of useless against this dude. So close to being ME3, you were less than 300 points off from getting perfect ending. Oh my god. Are you gonna redo it then? To get the, the better ending, the perfect ending? Oh, that was dumb. That's not what I meant to do. Used not to have the perfect ending, so yes. Fair. Fair, my guys. What do you mean by, like, points? Right? Normally in games, like, whenever you get the best ending or whatever, it's you have to do, like, a certain set of missions or select the right options and dialogue or whatever. Is it different in 3? Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. As <laughs> much as it's clearly missed something, so you were doing it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Like any shield worthy of the name. That's a lot, dude. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job. Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Buggy. So for Rhiannon's ride, in that case... No, that's way out of the way. There's a crystal closer to there we could just teleport to. I guess we could go... Yeah, fuck it. Let's just run over there. Is that the only way up to go through town? Yeah, okay. Noodle needs help with a decision in the district. Oh, yeah, about the baby shower gift. You can do a whole different class and background. I mean, true. True. I, uh, I don't know. I just can't generally replay through the same game, like, back-to-back -back like that. There are certainly games that I've played through multiple times, but, like, even Resident Evil 1 and 2, which are kind of made to be ran multiple times back-to-back, -back, by the end of the second or third playthrough, I just got so, like, burnt out on it, you know? Stream said he had to make a decision. It's like he doesn't know me at all. <laughs> I helped her narrow it down. Or I helped her narrow it down. Like. Is decision a special word? No. Uh, why would it be a special word? Oh no, Discord. Discord is a special word. I think it was just uh, kind of happenstance that it popped up twice pretty close to each other like that. An Acacia Chocobo? That's sad. Now we have to murder you. Oh my god, dude, I just I just danced between those two chocobos, not being able to decide which one we were attacking. That was perfect. 
Oh, that's right. They don't get picked up by it. Annoying. Oh, well. <laughs> Why are we attacking Turtle? He's got acacia disease, man. He's sick with ether. He drank too much, and now he needs to be put down. <laughs> oh. Okay. I thought something broke the way the Somebody screen just went black like that. Holy shit, dude. Choke, I'm not a part of this. Oh, Roo's definitely a part of this. Don't listen to him. Did I miss anything? <laughs> Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? I didn't expect more. It's fine, though. Oh, you dick. Really? Mr. Plague, sir. Oh my god, stop teleporting. Damn, stagger quick, let's go. Farewell. GG, Mr. I, dude. And useless stuff, my favorite. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. We really gonna be teleported back there again, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to explore a little bit, game. Just just a little bit, that's all I'm asking for. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Bunch of fucked well, up monsters, that's what we found, from, dude. They're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back. But when? And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. I talked to Martha about that? about that one, not me. You this have her to guard the rest. Land. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. Yay! One quest down, three more to do. Plus hunts. We gotta find them hunts. Ooh, guardian scarf. Oh, it's just a thing. Okay. A memory. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Did you have a child, Oscar. Sir Wade? Over here. Oh, never mind. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. Although I'm maybe. Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Huh? Murdoch. Oh. I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. Hmm. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. 
Yes, so wait. If it pleased you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I am sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told you me... You have the best of the best right next to you, dude. By his title, Good old Sir Wade. He does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. N -n Not that so Wade and the other guardians <laughs> are. I mean to say that. Uh, A little awkward, I see. It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. <laughs> He's trying. He's not doing good, but he's trying. You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. I'll just say yes already, Clive. Come on. Know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. Is he gonna die? <laughs> we gonna get him killed. <laughs> Bro, you do realize we literally run around fighting gods, we right? You really want to come around while we're doing that? Not let you down, Lord Rossfield. You. <laughs> I thought you, because of the exclamation mark, I thought you said squirrel, dude. <laughs> it's like the fuck you calling him a squirrel? Bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, now to hunt for that hunt. Okay, we know the ones down here, so I think we'll work from here down. Go to East Pool. We're checking all the random locations that look like there would be a hunt there. Because we don't actually know where this hunt is. And I feel like we checked a couple of these locations already, but I might have forgotten one or missed one or something. So we're doing it again, damn it. Are you foot pads? Yeah, you're foot pads. I'm not gonna. Bleh. Miss being attacked, what happened? We were fighting chocobos, and Rue felt bad for murdering chocobos. I didn't. <laughs> okay, a little bit. But they were crazy chocobos. They deserved it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we've checked here recently. But I can't actually remember for sure. You've made peace with it? That's good. That's good. Glad it doesn't haunt you. Good boy. Now that the deadly claws works over a longer distance, I am enjoying it more, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, did we not fight you recently? Yeah, I think we came here and fought this thing not too long ago, to be honest. But oh well, I'm sure he'll give us something. Come on, you're so close to... Down thrust, not worth it. I don't really understand the down thrust thing. If you're already in the air because of like... The whatchamacallit? The, the deadly claws or something, then sure, but like otherwise, kind of seems pointless, honestly. This one. 
Oh no, I forgot all about Bahamut. My bad, my bad. Yeah, I literally completely forgot about having the Bahamut skills. As soon as this fight's over, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I haven't even tried his shit out yet. Sad day, sad day. It's gonna be tough for me to give up the block though on Titan. The tech isn't great, but the abilities are okay. I really, really, really like the block on Titan. I mean, I'm not really making use of it at the moment, but I do really like it. <laughs> Getting rid of Phoenix would just feel wrong, all things considered. But having Garuda's ability to like lock people down is pretty sick. With the Deadly Claw, Deadly Claw, the Deadly Claw, the Daddy Claw, Wings of Light. Oh, the Mega Flare. Yeah, okay. I remember Mega reading about it. Mega Flare sounds cool. I don't have very many ability points. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So impulse, summon multiple spheres of light that upon strike an enemy, deal it continuous damage, binding it to the spot. Uh, probably only works on small enemies though, so whatever. Breathe forth a plume of light aspected flame that deals continuous damage. Kind of neat. I mean, it looks cool at least. Satellite. Summon multiple light aspect of familiars that attack an enemy on which Clive uses magic. Nah, fuck that, dude. <laughs> Is impulse good? Does it... I mean, I guess with, like, large enemies, it would just provide, like, constant damage over time. And the stagger's not too bad at three. But, like, the... I just read the part of it binding enemies to the spot and was like, yeah, that's not going to work on large enemies, so what's the point? <laughs> So is Giga Flare. That's what I was just getting ready to look at. Damage-wise, I think that's the most damaging thing yet, right? Yeah, if you believe the bars, then that's the most damaging ability. Apparently, Tornado's the best stagger one. Hmm. Too bad. Well... Uh I was going to say, too bad we can't unlock it, but actually, hold on. We're not using Gouge. Are any of these upgraded? Yeah, we're not using Rook's Gambit. We're not using Wicked Wheel. Okay, that's not upgraded, though. We're not using Scarlet Cyclone or Heat Wave. Or Rising Flame. I mean... Is there anything else? Oh wait, we're not using Judgment Bolt, though. I've been trying to upgrade Judgment Bolt, so we'd rather not. Not using Lightning Rod. Are using that. We're not using Blind Justice, like at all. I mean, do we need 2730? Evil, wind up. Mm, bruh, so close. Okay. Well, resetting stuff is free, and we're not using this right now, so. We can get rid of that. And Aerial Blast. There we go. Wait a second. That's all mastery does? Then that was pointless anyway. Oh, wait, no. It reset it completely. Okay, yeah. Anyways, okay. Giga Flare. And... Increases maximum Mega Flare level to four. Increases number of orbs. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. And then... Master Wings of Light, I guess. Just to give him a proper chance here.
Should probably actually assign this stuff, though. Kind of pointless otherwise. Impulse, you say, huh? Impulse and... Giga Flare. Oh! Ugh. I'm assuming we actually have to, like, point it at things for it to work. Okay. <laughs> we're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna have to find some things to fight. Checking this area next. Of course, there's nothing around here. We killed them all. Can we fight the scarecrows? No. I'm pretty convinced we checked these areas already, man. Wait, how does this work? Is it because we weren't in combat? Oh, okay, yeah. Now that we're in combat, it's charging. But as soon as we take a hit, it cancels, right? Oh, it seeks out enemies, though. Oh, it doesn't cancel when you get hit? I thought it said it did. I must have misread it. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Mega Flare's pretty cool. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. I really want to see what level two's like. Uh, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. I'm just imagining, like, a large group. If you could... Not get hit for long enough. Like, you could completely destroy a large group with just the one attack for free. And it looks pretty sick. The weight does kind of suck, though. I'll give you that. Hey, let's try the other two, though. What is it? Impulse and Giga Flare. I'm not sure how I feel about Impulse, man. See, the damage isn't that great. And having them locked down is like, whatever. Like, it's nice, I guess, but really? Oh wow, that doesn't do as much damage as I expect to anyway, either. Granted, we're gonna have to try those abilities again, because bombs are pretty resistant bastards, so... We're gonna have to try both again here in a moment. Charge does linger, so you can cancel out before you get hit. Oh! So you can charge... Oh shit, stuff's getting rough, X, got it. Okay, I can see a use for it then, whenever like... Like say, uh... Whenever you're fighting certain, certain people, right? You just end up like standing around and dodging for a while. Although, uh, it's, that seems to happen most often when you're fighting as Bahamut, or not as Bahamut, as Ifrit. And can't use these abilities when you're Ifrit, so maybe not. Control and building stagger. Yeah, that's the next thing I wanted to try is what it does for stagger. Oh, stagger multiplier. Oh. I see what you're saying. That's an interesting idea. Especially if it's just like one large enemy. Yeah, okay. Giga Flare's a lot weaker than I expected it to be, not gonna lie. Ah, 
I'm probably just fighting like too strong a creature so it doesn't feel as strong as it could otherwise. Go Torgal. A little late, but... So do all of them attack the same person? They do. Nice. I, I can definitely see it being useful for that. For building the multiplier. 100%. I see where you're coming from there. I want to see what Mega Flare does against like a big enemy. Ah! <laughs> Oh, it only lingers for a short period of time, though. And when you get hit, it just stops building, the same as if you cancel. Okay. But of course, if you get hit, it takes longer to recover. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What does a level 1 Mega Flare do to a big creature like that? <laughs> Meh. Middling, I'd say. So really, in general, he feels very control-esque, Bahamut. How high does it go? Oh, damn you. Oh, oh, shit. Does it... Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to fucking use it. Ah, oh, whatever. All right, let's just actually fight him now. <laughs> five is maxed. I'm very curious what a five does. But I also don't really want to wait long enough for a 5 to happen, so... Man, I fucked around so much, I used like all of my potions and shit, that kind of sucks. Uh... Oh, jeez. Christ, why did you launch him up in the air, Torgal? <laughs> that was the worst timing. Get him. Are there any more Akashic Blossoms around here? Because Phoenix felt really powerful fighting the Blossom. What is that? Is that just a Minotaur? There's some Acacia Cornets. Oh, it doesn't knock you down. It literally just like locks you in place. Okay, against these weaker creatures, it's not too bad. It did do like nearly half health on them. That's not terrible. What happens if, like, you're aggroed and then I walk over to aggro these ones? <gasps> it pauses between combats? This is just rude. Two. No, stay back. Stay back. We gotta do max one time, man. <laughs> Just one time. Three. Stay back, you gigas. This is like the most boring way to play the game. Okay, four is max at least at our current level. Ow. Yeah. 
it's a neat idea, but definitely not worth it. I agree with you on there, on that one. I'm just not convinced on the other two abilities either. Ow. Ow. Damn it. We'll see what the damage ends up being here. 32? I'm not convinced, man. I think we're going to go back. To the mix we had. Tornado and uh, Pile Drive with the Deadly Embrace. Mm, no. I was going to say maybe I would get rid of... Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I would get rid of this attack for it. But it's a pretty big damage dealer. I don't know if I want to get rid of that even. Sucks they limit you to three at a time. Because <laughs> I could see moments when I would want to use all of their abilities. But of course you got to pick and choose. Okay, uh, the next area I wanted to check was here, but this is a lot closer, so we're just going to teleport on over to there. If we do find the mystery hunt, it's probably going to kick our ass because we've wasted all of our potions and stuff screwing around with Bahamut. <laughs> Put you back to Garuda, Pile Drive, and... Excuse me? Oh, that's right. <laughs> we sold all of our abilities. Okay. There we go. Uh, not Judgment Bolt here. This. Aerial Blast. Deadly Embrace. And... Mastery just allows a simultaneous icon, so. So the rest of the points can go on anything, I guess. I don't really care. Maxing out Earth and Fury wouldn't be bad. Or Raging Fists. Oh, just Master, though. Yeah. That's actually Upgrade. Oh, of course, we don't have enough. So saving the points then. Combo was Diamond Dust, Stagger, Impulse, Incinerate, Stone Punch thing, <laughs> Levin Bolt, Giga Flare, and was doing 100k. I mean, that's good. 100k is really good. But, I don't know, man. <laughs> but it's Diamond Dust. Do we... We don't have that ability right? yet, right? Yeah, no, we haven't unlocked Shiva yet. So we don't have Diamond Dust. Diamond Dust into Stagger, and then Impulse for the Multiplier. Incinerate, presumably also for the Multiplier. Where's Incinerate? It's around here somewhere, right? Or no, Ignition. What is Incinerate? I'm guessing you were just missing, mixing up Ignition and Incinerate. Stone Punch thing, yeah. Levin Bolt Ignition, okay. Levin Bolt is that this one? No, that's Judgment Bolt, Lightning Rod, Thunderstorm, Satellite. Either we don't have Levin Bolt yet or Judgment Bolt. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, Judgment Bolt does. It's like a big single hit powerhouse. Giga Flare was doing 100k. So Giga Flare, that's one. Eleven bolts, two. Or not eleven bolt. Judgment bolt. Did 
Yeah, yeah, yeah hush. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what I want my combo to be. I'm willing to get rid of flame, the Phoenix Flame one, though, to be honest. I like it for groups, but to be honest, it's not that great against anything else. Other than, like, groups of weaker enemies. Um, the only thing I like about it is that it freezes time. So whenever you're fighting smaller or, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. whenever something's staggered, I like that it freezes time. Right? That's nice. Uh, because it gets a lot of hits in without time moving. And, like, sure, technically it heals you a little bit, but, like, you can just go into limit break or use a healing potion or wait for Torval to heal you as well. So it's not that big of a deal. Trans Rosarian Aqueduct. I mean, there's so many, like, little things off to the sides here. And it could be at any of them. Do I really want to check all of them? Not really. <laughs> but we have to sooner or later. 33 kilo beans. If you like in this instance, you know? Just pop that thing real quick. You don't even have to be close to him. It's got such a big AoE on it. And then just everything dies. The only downside is sometimes you accidentally attack things that <laughs> you weren't wanting to pull into the fight. Because <laughs> its AoE is just freaking huge. See, I'm stuck thinking on like <laughs> what a combo would be that I would want to actually try. I feel like what you got is probably close to max. Giga Flare just felt weak when we were using it though, but it could always be down to the actual creatures we were fighting. Mm, it did say something about a town. Oh shit, wrong thing. This area looks like it might be infected with ether. Maybe that's a good sign? Uh, no. Looks like it's just basic enemies. Unless something appears later, like... Now, yeah, whatever, we're fighting them now. Couldn't ignore the shiny. The useless shiny. Ow. Wait, what? I didn't equip an ability? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> and it won't let me do it in combat, will it? Oh, you bastards. <laughs> Damn you. Uh, bad timing. Wasted that ability. Fuck it. I'm just throwing everything out. I can't believe I forgot to re-equip the freaking tornado, man. Oh, 
Oh, too slow. That time I thought I could get it out first, man. The bio drive. Miscalculated. That doesn't... Maybe. I don't know, man. See, that doesn't look like a spot a creature would spawn to me, but I guess it's possible. I'm gonna check there and here, and then I'm giving up. <laughs> no, I don't know. How do we actually get over there? I should have checked that. Okay. Follow the yellow brick road. The entire night's gonna be spent hunting for one freaking hunt. The mystery hunt. Can't go across the water. This way. I am glad, Brad. I am glad you convinced me to pick up ignition, though, because that that ability didn't end up being OP, man. That's a good one, a real good one. It's great for groups. It has a lot of hits quick to build up multiplier. Like, it's just a nice all arounder. Fuck, I forgot to equip the ability again. Damn it, there's more of them. Now, before I forget. Aerial Blast, thank you. Even though when Aerial Blast works, it does build stagger super quickly, I still think I want to replace it with Judgment Bolt or whatever the hell it's called. The big, big bolt of lightning. Just because of how annoying it is to do anything when it's going off. Like, because you can't see shit. Yeah, unless it appears whenever, like, we fight that thing or something, then I don't think it's here. I see no reason to fight that big horn. Oh, damn it. Well, I can't just run now, can I? map and say which dead end looks like boss arena there were a few of them that i thought looked like oh shit 
Can I not look at map while I'm in here? Okay, there we go. There was... That's the door, so I ignored that one. I went to that one. I don't think I went there, although maybe. There's that one. That one. This one that we're at, potentially. That one that we're at. Uh... This is the one we're going to now. I don't remember which one I was like, probably not. <laughs> I don't remember. Might have been this one. Where I was like, probably not. Wanna hit? Yeah, sure. Because otherwise, we're, well, let me check the one last place that I have marked on the map. And then uh, if I haven't found it, I'll take a hint. To help lead us in the right direction. It shouldn't take long, because as soon as this big horn goes down, that's where we're headed. You just died, dude. Come on, <laughs> you dick. Did we get anything nice for that? Wait. Oh, no. That's ability points. For some reason, I thought that was Renown there for a second, and I felt very confused. Okay. So, it's across the bridge. And then just down. Got to get across the bridge first, though. Not the bombs. Ooh. You're new. You weren't there before. I don't think that's the boss, but it wasn't there before either. Oh, don't fight the bombs. The bombs are annoying. You dick. You could miss. sure that hit anything to be honest with you uh this should though not enough apparently not bombs have a high damage resistance okay, so how do i get across to there okay the way i was going just loops back around Said, I don't think that's the boss. The lightsaber wielding dude over there. Nah, there's another one by him. Someone was positive it's not now. Damn, pause. You can just let me go where I'm going in peace. This one. Level up! Hey! Thank you for finishing that fight for me, Jill. Or Torkoal, whoever did it. Appreciate you guys. Uh, this way. Okay, claw dudes? No. Can we just ignore Claw Dudes? Interesting, you guys aren't Acacia sick. Nothing seems to be over here. Interesting. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign.
Okay, and I don't think it's gonna be over here. There have been a couple that haven't appeared until we've gotten close enough, so maybe. Ooh, what's in the chest? Oh, uh, we have to fight the freaking big one again, though. Damn you with your high health. Okay, assuming this isn't the spot, I'll take that hint. It's round. <laughs> nice. Good hint. Okay. <laughs> break more. I always kind of forget about it. Uh, just tank it. I don't care. round i thought i had checked all the rounds bots to be honest because that's you know kind of what looks like boss arenas um is there anywhere <laughs> that we've just unlocked because like i noticed that this area is still locked by hawk's cry cliff um it's round round i mean this one's round but we've been there this one's round but we've been there and there you know he's cool the dim It's round. Northeast, okay. Somehow you've been there? What? <laughs> For real? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Alright, just tell me which one it is then. Is it is it this one or is it this one? Or this one down here? The Whispering Waters... Cressida or the Broken Hill? Top one, you're pretty sure. Okay, Broken Hill. All right. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, Cressida. This one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, What's the quickest way to get back there again? Son of a bitch, dude. I guess. Eastful. And then run back down again? Watch it not even end up being there. <laughs> <laughs> Just misremembering somehow, <laughs> like, uh, okay. Uh, this way. I should put my map marker. I mean, I guess technically I only went here. I didn't really explore this part that much. So if it was like here, maybe I missed it. So we should explore that general area a little bit more, maybe. And that could be the problem. You think it was at your mark? And that's, I mean, like, that's what I thought coming into here, right? Because, like, when I was looking at this map, there were three very obvious arena-style spots. And I was like, okay, surely it's one of them. Probably this one or this one. 
So I checked these three first and none of them. So then I just started checking like all of the little dead ends that it could potentially be and just nothing. So I was super confused at that point. Unless there's, there's not like something special you have to do to summon them, right? Yeah, that's, we went there whenever I was fucking around with uh, Giga Flare and went out with Bahamut. There may be a spawn condition, that's... Fuck. <laughs> Welp. The only thing I can think to do is go there and murder everything. If it, that doesn't make it pop up, then I don't know what to do. <laughs> or you may be wrong because you remember I'm fair. There is that interactive map if I get desperate. Because that interactive map that I linked the other day, and I think I have in my bookmarks, um, has the location of, as far as I'm aware, of everything. But I haven't really looked at it that much because I didn't want to spoil myself on anything. Oh, damn it. There's bombs. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Come here, Mr. Chocobo. We're going to hop on you real quick. You know what's weird? When I came through here last time, I don't remember the Fallen Hunters. Of course, uh, I probably just like went straight over here and gave up. Yeah, this is where we were fighting that Akashic Minotaur at using, uh, whatchamacallit, using Bahamut. I can walk from here. Oh, you dick. <laughs> yeah, go back home. <laughs> yeah, we came here. We fought all this shit. Son of a bitch. Maybe I accidentally didn't go far enough. I bet you I somehow didn't go deep enough over here. I bet you I fucked up somehow. Do I remember going back here by the well? And the house? No. I don't. So I probably came to here, didn't see the path, and thought that was it. I bet you that's what happened, dude. Yeah, because I don't remember this, and there's a big mean-looking thing right there. Fuck, we could have been done with this forever ago, <laughs> but I'm an idiot. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Atlas, huh? That should be... This should be fun. Okay. Well, I fully expect to die at least once. Level 45, too. Okay, so he's... A lot stronger than me. Level-wise. Uh, what's the move here? I honestly... <laughs> yeah, that did... a about fuck all. Right now I'm just trying to learn a bit about him. How susceptible are you to stagger? Somewhat. Also apparently iconic the vulnerability with thunder which is handy. That I only have the one. Okay, so honestly, he's got pretty big telegraphs. Unless he's got like a stage two, I don't think he's going to be too bad. I don't expect to win this one just because we have like no healing left, but yeah. I think we can handle him. Okay, that's this. 
Ow. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Just... I'm not gonna, like, let him kill me, but just kill me already, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was nearest obelisk. Son of a bitch. We gotta run all the way back over here. Limit heals, though? Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. I wasn't trying to, like, win that time. I wasn't trying to die either. I was just learning a little bit about him because of how few potions we had left. I didn't think I was going to be able to beat him anyways. Really? I think so. Yeah. See, I think they refill every time you die, not just when you... Whatchamacallit? Die in, like, a boss or anything? How is that the closest one? I guess, like, as the crow flies, it's the closest. But actually running from there to here? No. Me, sir, Chocobo. Can't summon you here. Okay. How about now? Yeah. Hello, Let's friend. Ah, oh, see, that's cute. How he has, like, the hover, too. If this was actually, like, open world and you could just go anywhere, they could have cool little platforming challenges with secrets and things. Company. Or, like, you would have to use the chocobo to... to reach them using his hover ability and shit. That would have been cool. But alas, game says no. I can walk from here. Full abilities on everything, full limit gauge. I could have stopped at the shop and bought that last elixir. It technically would have helped, but meh. It'd be okay. 15 chocobos are the spirit chocobos? 100%, man. I mean, for me personally, nothing beats Final Fantasy VII Golden Chocobos, you know? Like, <laughs> the ability to just run on anything. Like, pretty damn good. But if we're talking modern games, yeah, 15, 100%. And the famous words of you, uh, <laughs> you can drift them things. <laughs> like... Kinda hard to beat drifting chocobos. Oh, starting off with Celestial Spear. Damn. Wonder if I can block. Yeah, okay. That's something I. Ooh, okay. So most of his abilities can be blocked. Or most of his attacks, not his abilities. I'm assuming his actual abilities probably won't be able to be blocked. I don't imagine we can block that shit. Ah, oh, damn you. Oh, no. Wrong ability. Oh, still wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> God, that fucks me up so bad every time, dude. Ah, 
Oh shit, I forgot that cancels. I should have let the other attack finish. Oh, okay, he does have new new stuff. Ow. Ow. Holy shit, ow. That hurt. Okay, the first third went smoothly until <laughs> new ability. Oh, that flame he put on the ground hurts too. Okay. All of his attacks just really fucking hurt, it turns out. Should have waited a second. I could have got another hit off on him. Ooh, did he break through that or did I not have my guard up? Oh, oh no, okay. Oh boy, glad I saw that coming. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that saber shit hurts, dude. We do not want to get hit by that. Didn't dodge it. Damn, dude. My timing was way off. It's close, though. Let me to get some health back.
Not bad, not bad. Okay. Didn't have as much trouble with him as we did that stupid flan or whatever, but <laughs> pretty cool boss though. Hey, that's how we got the Oracalum. Or Oracalcum. And some fallen iron. Easy peasy. Yeah, he wasn't too bad. He was, I mean, obviously, I used a lot of my potions, so I'm not going to sit here and say he was literally easy. But with a couple tries on him, yeah. I think we could get him down without too much trouble. Okay, we still have one more hunt to actually do here, though. So let's actually do that. The one we know in the quiet sands. Watch this one give us more trouble. The lowly rank B or whatever it is. If anything, I'm still just mad that I fucking didn't run far enough. <laughs> Even though I saw that area on the map and was like, that's a boss arena. Let's check that one. I have two high potions left. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Goblin muggers? No. Think you did the same? <laughs> I like I had it marked on my map and everything. I'm just dumb, I guess. I don't know. Cause like the marker had to have been showing like it is now, a hundred some yards away, and I was just like, "Yep, I'm there." <laughs> it's fucking. Ah, uh, I was wondering if there would be something down here when we ran through here last time. I remember thinking how empty it was. Okay, with three of them, though, I might actually struggle a little bit with these guys. I'm not going to lie. Do they have stagger gauges? Oh, it's a B. B rank. A rank. Fuck, I can't. <laughs> I apparently can't read. They do. Okay. Okay, I should probably focus on one, but the other ones are going to get annoying. Ow. Okay. I mean, they hurt. They definitely got some damage output. This might end up being a two-trier as well. <laughs> Dudes, leave me alone. I'm busy here. That solid 2,000 stagger damage, though. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, I have no... I'm being gangbanged right now. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What did I even get hit by? Okay, one's dead. Retreat, heal. Uh, the other one. How do I switch targets? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm glad I got out of that. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, probably better to dodge that, actually. With it being an actual... <laughs> With being an actual attack, it would probably break through our... Titan block, Titanic block. Yep. Yep. Really hope we don't die to that one while I'm trying to kill this one. Oh, 
Good, the other one went down. Can we kill this one quickly, please? Okay, good, 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 good. He's dead. Oh, this is Iron Gavel? I don't remember this. Mm, damn. Snow, he's still going. Nope, too late. Damn you. He's still going? Yep. Oh, buddy. Alright. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> it was closer than I would have liked, but we got it. We got it. <laughs> oh, fuck. And another level. Let's go. What's that? Level 39? Yeah. Two meteorites. No more vengeance. No more war. Nice. All right. Well, that's all that shit done then. It is pretty late. Let's, uh, before we end for the night, go back to base. Make that new thing we can make now that we got the orichalcum. Or we might need more stuff, actually, now that I think about it. A new missive has been... Oh, yeah. The memory things. What else do we need? I remember we needed that, but we actually needed other stuff too, didn't we? So, what it be? It wasn't a sword. It was a piece of armor. This. There it is. Stained loincloth and marble flower. Uh, is that stuff? There are two more hunts to do, so maybe that's the other two pieces. Surprised we didn't get the stained loincloth from those dudes we just fought, to be honest with you. I mean, they look like they would have some stained loincloths. That's all I'm saying. That it. So what were the other two hunts? Would they maybe drop that shit? I guess the one's another mystery one, so we're probably not going to know much about it. But is the other one, like, a morble or something? I remember it's in Sam Breck, but that's all I remember. I don't think I actually read the description to get a hint. Okay, yeah. So, the Ten of Clubs. You could have a stained loincloth. Ruin reawakens. Sam Breck, we legend, tells of a dread dragon who set near half the realm alight with his torrid breath before being sealed away behind a magical mist by Gregor herself, some sources claim. Though it has long been forgotten which parts of the tale are true and which are mere myth, recent reports of a great dragon's war reverberating around the woodland passes of the Empire are real enough. The woodland... Passes of the Empire. So probably somewhere in the foresty areas. And again, I'm assuming it's going to be boss arena-esque. That's in Sam Breck. Okay. Then the Ten of Clubs, we know where that's at. But that doesn't sound like it's going to give us a Morble thing, though. Have we not fought a Morble yet? A giant Morble? No, I guess not. Hmm. So presumably we can't make the Ouroboros thing until later. But Sand Breck. Uh, local map. I mean, immediately, that stands out to me as a boss arena, right? Like, this sort of area would as well, if not for... No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'd be obvious if it was there. Oh, there's this section down here that's unlocked now that we've never been to before. So I guess it could be down here somewhere as well. 
time is it? It's 2.44. Fuck it. I'm going to check this one at least. So we have to come here anyways for that. So we might as well check that one area real quick. Just see if it's there. If it is, we'll try to kill it. Probably die and then try again. <laughs> I could waste my money on potions, but meh. It'll give them to us for free. It's fun. Because if it's not here, then I'm guessing it's going to be down here somewhere. In the area we haven't unlocked. Or haven't uncovered. But from what I remember, there's... Yeah, it's going to say, like, a lot of trees around this area, too. So that would make sense for the, the woodland thing it was saying. Foster. Should have put a thing there. But really, we're just following this wall around. Ignoring all of you. Ooh, fallen bugs. Tasty. Go away, bugs. And raptors don't care. I'm on a hunt at the moment. They really couldn't bring over, like, the... That shit from Final Fantasy 15 that makes you dodge trees and stuff when you're running around. Like, <laughs> that's a one piece of tech they could have at least pulled over. Okay, I remember this section. Around here somewhere. Here it is. I think we did a hunt here before. Yeah. Didn't we? Maybe not. But no, it's not here. Okay. And I am in the right spot this time? Yeah, okay. I mean, might as well check Heaven Hall just because it's so close. And then Mourn Broom or whatever, since we've never been down there before. Dude literally just spawned out of that rock. Didn't realize they were magical, dude. Get off the tree. Back to the stables, girl. You're probably not here, right? No. So this area is suspiciously empty. Okay. So here then. Uh, and we'll actually just run this time since we're unlocking new stuff, new areas. I don't know why I'm stopping to pick this up. A whole gill bug, thank the lord. This is also pretty wooded. I don't see anything like burnt though, which... You know, with dragons about, you would think, maybe. A dragonette, though. A little baby dragon to warn of the larger dragons that are to come. That would make some sense. opening up here no <laughs> okay <laughs> i thought maybe on the other side of that gate would just be like you know a big boss arena looking thing suspiciously quiet no music or anything this is very pink Is it so pink over there? That's fucking creepy looking, dude. It's a weird ass chest, too. Ring of the Marksman?
Increases the will damage of magic by 10%. The will damage? Is that like stagger? What the fuck is will damage? Okay, this has got to be a boss arena, dude. It's burn as shit back there. It's pink and hazy. Something's going to swoop down and fuck our day up. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it is stagger? Okay. I don't know why they wouldn't just say, like, increase the stagger of magic by 10%, though. Far wrong. Too bad we can't just like oh shit, you're level 50. This beast isn't to be trifled with. Too bad we can't just like turn into Ifrit at will. <laughs> Is that gonna blow up? That's gonna blow up. Okay. That's a big explosion too. Red Dawn? Okay. Round explosions. Lasers. Holy shit. This one... I mean, I'm gonna try after we die. This one might be a uh, comeback a little later one, though. <laughs> this is the hardest one, in your opinion? I can see why. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jill! Did Jill die too, or is she just crying about us? I'm not sure. We're going to give it one good try before the end of the night, though. And if it doesn't work then, then we'll probably, you know, do some other stuff and come back. Uh, Do we just run over again? Yeah, we'll just run over again. Come back with Diamond Dust? We're going to try one more time. <laughs> we're probably going to lose, but we're going to try one more time. I'm honestly surprised we haven't unlocked. I thought Shiva would be one of the like early ones we unlocked just because, you know, we've been running around with her constantly. And there was like that five-year time period where we could have stolen her powers and then just let her, you know, regain them over time without it really having too much of an effect on anything. Although, I guess, presumably, we were, like, running around doing shit in that five-year period. We probably didn't want to weaken her. And it's not like we 100% know how to control the, <laughs> the stealing that we do. It just kind of happens sometimes. Is there anything I want to change? I don't know how well the tornado is going to work on him. Is he mobile as shit? He was pretty mobile. But he's also very large. So assuming his hitbox is large, we can probably get a lot of hits off with the tornado for stagger. Probably just fire that off right away. I want to get him at least half staggered just because I want to know what his animation looks like whenever we uh, grab him with Deadly Embrace. <laughs> yeah, so it's not staggering maybe quite as much as I had hoped. But it did get a lot of hits on him. Ooh, ooh. Staying close did seem like a good idea there at first. Should really be saving the big attacks for when he's staggered to get the maximum damage output. 
bro. <laughs> we still had potions and shit. Fuck it. One more try. One more try because that was terrible. <laughs> now we know, though, he can output a shit ton of damage. So we definitely need to uh, keep our health high. Very high. Fly, Ambrosia. Can Chocobos fly? I mean, I get it. He's just telling him to go fast, but it'd be really cool if he could actually fly. Like an unlockable, like you could with the car in 15. Just fly over everything. Mm, yeah, not a bad idea, especially with how long it takes to, to get his stagger gauge down. Like, there's probably time to get most of those big moves uh, to recharge. That's a fair point. Nate, what's up, dude? Didn't expect to see you tonight. I'm guessing you've been dashing. All right. Um... Be safe. Ugh, Spock. <laughs> okay, go ahead and get this one out of the way. Because it'll just spawn on him. And then... Are we close enough? I really hope we're close enough for that to work. Yep. Uh, nope. Get out of the way of that. Okay. Uh, might as well save... Fuck, dude. Potion. Red Dawn's not too bad. I don't mind that move. I forgot about that part, though. Thank God for the perfect block. That would have hurt. Okay, locking on is actually bad. Because it's trying to get us to hit his head. Okay, that works. Let's go. I've been wanting to see this. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty basic, but <laughs> I'll take it. You know, if we really tried, like... It would probably take a few tries, but I think we could get him, dude. Uh, no. Run, 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 run. Oh, because it's like two attacks, man, if you don't react fast enough and you're dead. Should just use limit break to heal there, save the potion. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the tornado again now. Uh, this is new. Oh, it's a jump one, okay. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> That was scary, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I should have waited to do that one to get maximum damage. Dragon Dance. 
I don't like the sound of Dragon Dance. Damn, dude. Uh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. He outputs damage. Holy God. Okay. Didn't notice he was spinning. Oh, I didn't need the heal, but oh well. I can't see shit. What is going on? End it early. Save it. Oh, not this one, dude. This one was bad last time. Get this one again. And Red Dawn together. Rude. I really wish the tornado was on you right now, so it's like actually doing something. But, you know. Well, we're out of potions. <laughs> we did get him about halfway, though. And technically, it's not over yet. It's just unlikely we're going to live much farther. Or longer, rather. Uh, no. Run, 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 run. Thank you. Uh, what was in Boreal? Oh, it's the jumpy one. Okay. Such a mass effect, I'm losing control of time. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Okay, we need help. Oh, bitch. Fuck, dude. Oh, uh, get out of the way of the ball. <laughs> Have a good night, Rue. Giant dragon. Sorry I didn't see your message. <laughs> oh, dicks. Uh, 
Uh, this is jump one, jump and run. Oh shit, too early. <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> Started jumping early. <laughs> oh god. Okay, he's gonna be coming for us. Nice. This is much better than I thought we would do given our first couple attempts. I am very happy with this. Okay, second laser. And then dive. Oh no, not dive. That ill-timed dodge is what fucked me. I really need heals, dude. This will give me a tiny bit, but it doesn't even, like, matter. Because it's not going to be enough to keep me alive for a single attack yet. <laughs> I mean, we got him, like, two-thirds of the way there, though. So, we're going to come back. You, c Yeah, that's true. You can limit with one bar, but we would only get, what, like, a couple hundred health with that one bar? If we're lucky, maybe, like, three or four hundred. That's still only one one and a half hits we could do it <laughs> you think you can... <laughs> i think we can too i mean we were three quarters of the way there or like two thirds of the way there rather but like do we do it now though one more try one more try last try though for real because it is 306 i'm sure noodles wanted to go to bed noodle and i might have a cookout tomorrow so i got to get up at a reasonable time <laughs> one more try one more try by stone skin oh yeah i completely forgot about like potions and shit um okay map is there a shop closer to here i mean i guess we could just go here to north reach stop at that shop you need to get a shower so you haven't felt like moving i'm sorry love First, i need to get a Isabel. drink is what i need to do <laughs> i'm fine Got a little bit left. Oh, you know what? The other thing I'm going to do, in case we just fuck up, it feels like cheating, but I'm going to buy that last elixir, too. If she... If this person sells them. If we have to go back to Charon, then I'm fuck it. I'm not going to do it, but... Okay, yeah, you don't sell last elixir, so screw that. But stone skin tonic, we'll just refill everything. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. You've a keen we got the gill, and we're not doing anything with it, so uh, screw it. Yeah, buy lion heart tonic too. Like a customer who knows what he wants. Everything but the last elixir, because you don't sell it. Uh, how do we... Is it under items? Yeah. Okay, so stone skin's already equipped. That's what I want. And then, just gotta remember, as soon as he's about to enter... Stagger, switch to the attack one and apply that. And then I have to remember I have the elixir. So once I run out of regular healing stuff, elixir it up, baby. Try to remember to save the stone skins for the big attacks in case I fuck up. I think we got it. Come on. Fly the only downside is <laughs> if this is if this is a level 50 hunt. And at least in one person's opinion, the hardest one. So the, the only shitty part is that means like everything else in the game is gonna be easy comparatively. <laughs> At least, like, side stuff-wise. You know, there's still the final mission to deal with. Don't know how hard or easy they're going to end up being. Alright. Just got to remember the attack patterns, dodge and block well. And if we're lucky, we won't even need the elixirs.
I hope they end up releasing an item that locks you at level 1 like they have in so many of the other games. Because I would love to see someone do all hunts level 1, dude. Oh, cool. You can just use from menu, too. So I don't have to add it to the shortcuts. All right. Let's go. Uh, just throw this out instantly. Make sure I get back to this. I seem to always start with Blazing Legion. Oh god, that was that was almost a dumb move. Uh, Red Dawn, just run. Dodge the lasers. And then Spiral is blockable. Okay. I want to figure out the, the timing on that next one he does so we can get the, the powerful hit in on it. Dawn, not bad. Okay, Embroil. Okay, that wasn't bad. That's not ready yet. Come on, dude. You're staggered. Let's go. use this first to start building up the gauge but oh well hey over 50,000 got the thing okay, I can't see shit so I'm just guarding uh dragon dance I don't remember how bad this one was oh yeah 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 okay just keep blocking it Okay, well, apparently it can break through the block. Oh, that was close. This Legion's not bad, but he's gonna, yeah, double it up with Red Dawn. Ready to dodge lasers. And then the other way. I'm stuck, Jesus Christ. And are you gonna dive on me? No. Okay, well, it's gonna suck for the, the damage, but free heals though.
Yeah, I do know that. That you can cancel the limit. I think I did it. Was it in the last fight? I don't remember. And then the last one. Oh. No. He hit us once with one of those fireballs. I'm not sure how that happened, though. Hoping everything has time to regen before he gets back up. If not, then oh well. Okay, he's gonna red dawn, so I actually wanna be here ish for the lasers. Dodge those nice and easy, and then this time dive bomb? No, okay, fireballs. Okay, damn it, embroil. Red dawn and Uh, halfway there, boys. Let's go. Only three potions down. There's still plenty of time to fuck it up, though. <laughs> Case in point. I need to remember lunge is a thing when he's far away. Instead of relying on the teleport. So I like the block a lot more than I like the teleport. Just use everything. I don't even care what it is. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have used all those things. For the half stagger. So I really kind of need to use it at the, the full stagger point. Or the, the unstaggered point. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> like right now should be okay to use everything actually. I'm royal run away. Can't see shit. Damn, that wastes so much time on the limit break. Just cancel. Alright. We got this move down. We know what to do here. Oh, you know what I've been forgetting to do, though? Use the strength tonics every time we stagger. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Pause. Uh, elixir. Add there. And strength. There. Oh, no, that hurt. Okay.
last dance. I don't remember this one. Okay, Blazing Legion, that's fine. With Embroil. Okay, this I think is new. A new combo of Jesus Christ, run away. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Failed. Are you serious, bro? We were so close. Well, Noodle hasn't gotten her shower yet. It's fine. <laughs> I'm so mad. We were doing so well. But just two hits. That's all it takes. Two hits without a full heal in between and, like, dead. Well, at least we didn't use our oh elixirs. We did use up the stone skin stuff, but... But we didn't use anything else important. And that makes me wish I had the last elixir, though. Because <laughs> we probably would have had that fight. Unless his, like, final stage there is insanely more difficult than the rest. Then we would have had him right there if we had that stupid last elixir that I was too... Didn't want to spend the time to go back to base to buy from Karen. Oh, damn it. Get off the thing, bird. Bird. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. Uh, I should have put the high potions in the top slot because I kept, uh, whatchamacallit, like hesitating to use potions because I wanted to instinctively hit up to use the regular ones where I put the elixirs. Remember that for this time. Try to at least. Uh, okay. So, regular potions back to the top. Strength tonic can stay at the bottom. Alright. Thanks, girl. Use this first. And as soon as we get close enough, use the other one. other one and then get back to garden that laser okay oh shit <laughs> almost forgot about that part oh bastard Laser me if I'm too close. What was that? I don't remember how. It, maybe he hit us like from behind or something because we were too close. Okay, future reference. Probably just stay the hell away from him when he's doing right on, actually. Damn you. Uh, excuse me? My potion didn't trigger? Royal.
and fuck it, use the tornado too, why not? <laughs> oh shit, I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> Okay, Dragon Dance. This one fucked us up a little bit last time. Oh shit, nope. We're doing worse than last time is the annoying part. Last time really was like the run, dude. But we fucked it up not healing enough. Uh, is this out of range? Just barely. Right into Embroil, not even giving us a chance to relax. My god. Don't need much health, but I feel come more comfortable with. Damn you. I don't like how sometimes he dives, sometimes he doesn't. It confuses me. My puny brain can't handle all that. The variations. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, magic pauses you. <laughs> I always forget about that. Damn, didn't get them all off. Okay. Red Dawn. Bro, let's go. like the fireballs. <laughs> fireballs scare me. Get that little bit of health back. Yeah, two thirds. Okay. Oh, you bastard, really? Oh, 
Uh, where's the pause? <laughs> okay, that's not the pause button. But that'll work. All right. Uh, da 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 da. Items. Take a quick breather. I'm gonna I'm gonna move here in a moment. Okay, you can go there. Elixir. There. <sighs> okay. Get a little stretch in, mid-fight stretch, you know? Oh, uh, can we change gear? Probably not, huh? In the middle of the fight? Yeah, no, okay. I didn't figure you could change gear. Would be handy, though, if we could. Uh, all right. <laughs> handle this. We've done this one a million times. Just don't fuck it up. For God's sakes, don't fuck it up. It'll kill you quick. Uh, no, actually, I don't want to precision block it. Need to get close. Need to get close. Okay. You know what? Use the stuff. He still has a lot left, dude. Fuck it. What about abilities? No, you can't change them either. I've tried that before. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have. Should have limit break there instead of using a high potion. That's what, like the fireballs or some shit? I don't even remember. Then Red Dawn. Okay, this is last dance is just fucking everything. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're dead. Ho, ho, ho. Jesus, dude. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, jeez, dude. I can't. Oh. Oh, fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay, we need help. I don't want to use an elixir. That was risky. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> the perfect. I should have just regular block, dude. Got to strength tonic. Fuck it, strength tonic now. And since we use strength tonic, line heart tonic. So close, man. Don't fucking do this. Don't fucking die. Really, ten gil. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, elixir. Jesus Christ. I can't see shit.
Oh, no, no. Good luck, sir. Fuck, dude. Fucking shit. I can't. I'm so stuck. Fuck everything. Jesus Christ, dude. That's... Fuck, you so close. Jesus, dude. We've dealt with that so many times. How did we fuck that up? Oh, God damn it, dude. Oh, that's annoying as shit. <laughs> All right, no. We got to get off now, man. I can do it. We're going to do it tomorrow. Before we do anything else, we're just beating this. Before anything else tomorrow. <laughs> we're beating this guy, man. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. He was so fucking close, man. A sliver of health left. Jesus. <laughs> that annoys me to no fucking end. All right. Well, yep. We'll be back tomorrow around 5.30. Heat wave would work well, you think? What was heat wave again? Is heat wave the uh, one that dispels magic? Like the big, the big blast that dispels the magic or whatever? Was that heat wave? I can't remember. I could look real quick, though. Abilities. Counters projectiles. Yeah, I think it's. I think we're thinking of the same one. I think it's a Phoenix one, right? Heat wave. Yeah. Yeah, projectile dispelling wall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be a good one for that, actually. That might be better than using, uh, whatchamacallit, the ignition for this one specifically. It's not a bad idea. I don't think we need it to do it, but. I think it would work well as well. Um, and instead of the tornado, using this just for the extra damage would probably work well, but I don't have the ability points for it without redoing a bunch of shit. Uh, we can upgrade Earthen Fury, though. Increases range and number of hits? Yeah, let's definitely do that. And then... That's just mastery, so don't care. All right. Well, anyways, yeah. Okay. We are getting off, though. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. I'll be back, like I said, tomorrow around 530 to beat the shit out of that dude, hopefully. Uh, or, you know, spend four or five hours trying to beat the hell out of that shit. We'll see you then. <laughs> Until then, guys. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Sherbert is a mispronunciation that is now more common than the real pronunciation in America.